Yes, this will be the unboxing and test of a portable uh, air conditioner, heating and cooling, uh, only 900 watt and not 1100 watt. But it's said that it can uh, cool and heat from the same side, so you don't have to switch it. And yes, yeah, this is for my solar camper. This is 300 watt on top, 1000 watt uh, uh, additionally here. And it will be 800 watts, so new solar panels from China. Uh, and here, this uh, has to be uh, because of the license plate. But when parking, I can uh, put this down, and then I could have a box that can I, uh, I could push 50 centimeters outside. So the plan is to put the air conditioner outside uh, and, and really have a, a nice air conditioning, not just uh, with a hose and uh, with a stupid idea where. Uh, the cold air inside is uh, heated up and p pushed outwards. Okay, camera got too hot and did shut off. And so now it's running for five minutes. It's set to cooling. And here now it's really... Uh, to, so can, uh, can you see it? It's minus 15 degrees, minus 18, minus 20. Uh, I cannot really believe it, but if I now here go to the hot side, uh, cardboard, it's 28, 29 degrees. Um, that's yeah, it's sunny day. And here, it's really can make a fridge of it. And here now, uh, the hot side. Uh, is outputting uh, 23, 20 plus, you see 25. I mean, it's the cardboard was heat longer, but the air is, is, is not. You see, that's uh, the cardboard uh, 40 degree, but uh, the air here is only 20, 25, 22. Uh, so cannot really believe this uh, extremely low temperature. Uh, outputting but uh, technically it's possible and, and so at least yeah it's, it's getting cool. I bought this uh, nice cheap uh, automatic transfer switch which is also part of the project you see because this is 5000 watt uh, inverter in my uh, solar camper you see I can use these two for, for neutral and uh, phase uh, to go to the primary input which is then uh, go to, to the entire here. All these three are either the three phases from original that's going to be source B or uh, one phase which is uh, hopped uh, to all the three phases. Uh, this should work because it's a bit stupid to run the fridge on, on the electricity grid when I free solar power. Uh, yeah, this is part of this. <laughs> Not really the air conditioner here again, Paper Street Soap Company. Uh, and okay, right now outside it's 22.3 in the shade. Uh, that's the sensor. And so, uh, where, where, where is it? Can you, can you see it here? Uh, so just to uh, verify, okay, you see uh, here, uh, it's about correct, uh, 22. Of course, here you see when, when it's outside and hot and it's 50 degrees. And I installed here a, a bit of shade because you see uh, sun power is 1000 watt per square meter. So here if this window gets full sun, then this 900 watt uh, does not, uh, cannot really do, uh, do much. And okay, let's see the, the, the heat coming out here. It's, it's 40 degrees. Uh, that's nice and yeah it, it's about uh, to, for testing so now let's go inside uh, and yeah it's it's comfortably cool it's not really cool it but it's and it's okay it smells a bit like uh, the air uh, <laughs> But that's a nice smell because it's a dry, it's a dry, some dry smell. And you can see here I attached this hose, so nice. Because it did not work much when you, know, you see the cold uh, is on the bottom anyway. So it does not really make much use. Uh, here the, 
you see the cool air is sucked in and uh, cooled even more and then it's out port here and yeah it's okay but uh, if you check here it's seven degrees 16 degree uh, okay that's nice but as I said here uh, down below you you have uh, uh, 13 degree and inside I had even minus degrees uh, but of course this is already a heat exchanger so this plastic hose uh, and so okay so what's the temperature in here right now you see it's also 25 but you see it would have been a lot hotter uh, and that was why I bought this because uh, with, without uh, this, uh, cooling here I, I could not not work here and uh, in, in, on, on my notebook because yeah I, I found it here it's it's a PTC element so yeah this image uh, it can output uh, heat uh, front but this is <laughs> this a compressor does not start and of course uh, that's uh, not what what we like um, but uh, technically, yeah, this is an air conditioner which can be uh, installed permanently and it can also heat up here, but then it will only be simply a PTC and, and, and electric heating and not this as, um, three to one efficiency of a heat pump. And, and so, of course, in winter time, I would um, need to um, adjust, uh, turn it around. Uh, Okay, I uh, still need to get rid of the sun in here and you see that boss is from, from Czechoslovakia and, and I did uh, it really okay it's already you can be happy if, if seller uh, answers you and and so because maybe he didn't understood me I made this nice uh, images here uh, so I would like this and, and not that. that. Uh, because you see that's this other one uh, from Spain it has a special heating side and a cooling side and so this one does not have an NTC element I guess and uh, it has okay 1100 that's always uh, depends on on, on which uh, the heat and I think the rated input power here is 330 watt and uh, this one uh, is also I think 350 360 watts so maybe this is even uh, you see the input power so they are about the same and okay this came free with this hose so uh, I, I will stick with it and technically yes <laughs> it does heat uh, but you see they, they only said oh checking manual and said it says cool mode and warm mode and of course these sellers they, they have no technical insight and so uh, I made already these nice images for them to, for promotion here that, that they might use but uh, now I have changed this to uh, yeah okay only with heating with PTC <laughs> otherwise you also have to uh, switch it and uh, what else can I show you yeah yes <laughs> this here is the old uh, panel which you can see right here and this is new uh, solar panels there will be an overlap of 40 centimeters which will be quite nice so I can have a bit more shade so no sun coming through the back window and these uh, 800 watt will be really great and that's uh, the thing I want to finish I guess you see I found this on Alibaba uh, 100 watt and what's really somehow special is you see only 1.4 kilogram and only 1.4 millimeter thick uh, and yeah okay oh, where we have it you see really uh, this is not uh, a really uh, semi flexible I, I call it semi rollable and uh, but I'm you see the price is also okay and so I, I plan to to buy um, 10 to 20 uh, 100 watts so if you're in Europe uh, please uh, get, send, leave a message so um, we might uh, try to get to 50 pieces uh, and uh, I'm not sure but I they have agreed to make a video to 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 make to test the shortcut current and the open voltage at least you see it's it's harder to test here the MPP point uh, but um, if this uh, shortcut current under bright Sun would above be, uh, would be above 
uh, 5 amps, uh, then this is really, uh, the total, it's not 21, the panel efficiency, it's 18%. This is a cell efficiency and therefore you see, uh, uh, I'm, as you can see here from, uh, uh, you see by now it's a three of them and, and the, the cooler came so I can continue here with uh, with uh, my microwave oven. Uh, these uh, flexible solar panels, uh, they uh, are not made to last. Uh, and and I really, uh, I don't want to spend a few thousand dollars on, on importing these uh, solar panels without having checked uh, them. At, at least you see it's about five amp. Right now it's cloudy in, in Shenzhen. Uh, that's what Pina told me. You see, that's also, uh, I want to, here. Yeah. That's that's her shop, and she already you see she has a power station uh, here. Uh, that's a friend of her who who's, who made this, and uh, pri price is okay, uh, and and she uh, and she also has uh, fully battery packs. I think they're 12 volt, but they are also 24 volt, and you see also okay standard uh, batteries. Uh, but uh, I have this idea that this, uh, this flexible solar panel uh, might fit to, to her so she can offer kits with a power station and solar panel and these uh, really they can be rolled uh, to uh, uh, to something like 33 centimeters so there could be a sleeping mat inside so I already have the idea of a nice little kickstarter uh, and, and but um, she's not from Hong Kong but from Shenzhen and so she's having trouble. Uh, to to run a Kickstarter, so maybe I will do the Kickstarter for her, and so it, it, it also leave comments if you would uh, have uh, some interest in also getting these nice, flexible. You, uh, really, uh, so usually uh, these uh, semi-flexible. They have, um, as I said, one millimeter of aluminium uh, inside, uh, one millimeter of plastic, and they have a weight of 2.6. I got one which 1.6 kilogram. Uh, um, but uh, you see no aluminium so really it looks like being uh, lies quickly to break and, and so if these here really with the spec contacts are really uh, very flexible um, this might indeed be uh, a good a good product so I really would like to uh, uh, as I said uh, they, they might nicely fit here and versus 800 watt of solar panel uh, this is an old electric motor. It, it, it needs 600, uh, 6 kilowatt uh, for to drive uh, 45 kilometers per hour. So it's not much more efficient than a Tesla, but only at a speed of 45 kilogram. It's uh, 27, 24. Okay, this is, uh, can we hear? This is aluminium. 24. Uh, you see, if, if there's some sun sneaking through, then it immediately uh, it's, gets, but uh, at least um, this is uh, 21, 70 degrees, you see, it, it's still outputting 16, 17 degrees uh, air, so it's, it's, <laughs> it's doing something and... Uh, it's not really, that I now uh, can take my shirt off. Uh, no, I need to put a shirt on. <sighs> okay, that's uh, Planet Robodern. This uh, air conditioner built in as a window air conditioner, not as a stupid uh, portable air conditioner with only one hose. Uh, you see, that's uh, only already mentioned it. It's it's a bit stupid because now it's the air circulating inside here. So it's uh, some air uh, getting cooled, uh, sucked in and getting colder out. And the energy taken from this air that is sucked in uh, is blown out uh, outside. And, and so, uh, whereas with one hose, it's uh, the air that is getting heated up and and blown out uh, uh, through a gap in the window that needs to be replaced by some air and so air would sneak in uh, through, through all the stuff and furthermore it's it's already cold air that is that is uh, used to be um, 
heated up and, and sucked out and, and so that's, that's stupid you should have uh, two holes uh, air conditioner and now here you see this, this is as a window and uh, the, the noise level is, is okay uh, I'm not speaking louder it's okay sleeping might not be that nice uh, but it's way more louder here that's my, my gasifier it's really working very nice and, and outside uh, this new fan uh, um, with, with a BLDC motor uh, that makes uh, a bit more noise and but this is really <laughs> uh, you only need uh, about uh, well yeah that much uh, dry wood to, to cook and to have uh, have it warm for for one hour uh, and, and so uh, this is you see there's a small uh, switch to turn uh, to, to direct the inflow air either directly inside or, or to the ashtray and here there's a heat exchanger inside uh, so that the hot air gets cooled down uh, to even be more efficient and, and really I, I cook on this for over a week now every day and it's also a nice project and but right now here this and um, okay bye bye and as I said if you have some ideas for 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 Pina and her shop and uh, what products you would like to, to see on, on her shop or if you have interest in buying these ultra light uh, super flexible I mean they are so flexible that they are hard to <laughs> you can put them flat on the floor but you cannot uh, put them directly to the sun you would need some frame but um, they seem to be uh, not to break. So if, if they indeed make this test and Pina will do the test again, there will be a technical review from her for, on, on these. And, and only then do we uh, continue with a bigger order. Uh, right now, I think we only buy one to, to check again. And, and so, um, so shipping will be by sea. Uh, so again, it will take two months. Uh, but uh, shipping by train, that would be with Russia and so. Uh, I think that's no longer possible. Uh, she did not even uh, mention uh, sh uh, shipping by train any longer. She said, okay, shipping by, by sea. But shipping by train did also take two months, so that's not really that uh, a big difference. And, and, and so. Okay. Bye bye. Now the sun is down, and I can check the power usage of this uh, machine. It's here to notice that's the uh, humidity. And that's why it, it really it's it was qu becoming quite dry inside. So you see that's why it was quite cool, the feeling, but also <coughs> might not be so good. Uh, you see, living in air conditioning. That uh, I, I like to live outdoors, and so <laughs> if now I live in a full cl uh, climate uh, air conditioning, uh, that might uh, not be so healthy. So it's 333 watt, but that's uh, the watt including the losses of the uh, inverter and the, the fan is going up and down so it's not a continuous noise, it's not so nice. And yeah, now it's getting cold here. <laughs> by, the way, by the way, here uh, it's really uh, coming quite a lot of air out so it's not easy to, to, to close it ah. uh, and now try to change to heat yeah it did change to heating I think 32 is the maximum and now wait a bit ah yeah so you see that's now electrical heating which I do not like at all you see 1000 watt it's a nice to, to have it but you see you you would have to as i said you have to turn it around to to get the, the hot output here like these others do and and just to verify yeah this has some electrical heating uh, which is not um, that nice okay that's it dark here and <laughs> good night and good luck <laughs>